your move. You son of a gun. Tell me, how'd you do it? All right, you keep your secrets. I don't know if you know this, but um, kind of a nerd, which means I have two great loves in my life, video games and spreadsheets. So I decided to merge my two great loves to make a video game you can play in a spreadsheet. Google spreadsheets to be precise. Now if you are a long time subscriber, so like the three of you who are watching this, you may have recalled that I made something similar to this a few months ago, where I made a strategy combat based dungeon crawler in Excel. Not only did you have to use a variety of weapons and a variety of monsters to complete the game, but the spreadsheet also kept track of how much health you had, how much gold you had, which you could use to purchase items from NPCs that you could have conversations with. It was pretty cool, to say the least. But I wanted to do something better. I wanted to make a game that had story to it, characters, and a more video game-like environment. So I, with the help of a buddy of mine, created The Art of Fear a horror point-and-click adventure that you can play. I'll give instructions at the end of the video as well as down in the description on how you can play it, but all of the characters and the environment and the images that you see were created by my good buddy Aiden Makes Posts, who's an animation YouTube channel you should totally check out. Say hi, Aiden. Hey, thanks, Grant. Okay, that's, that's enough of him. So let's take a peek behind the illustrious curtain and see exactly how this game works before you jump into playing. So the premise of the game is that you are a security guard who's in charge of taking care of an art gallery during the day and at times during the night. But at night you notice some paranormal stuff going on and it's up to you, it's you, to figure out what is going on. How can you create such an amazing sounding video game in a spreadsheet, you ask? Well. A little nosy for asking before I even explained it, but let me explain it to you. The basis of any video game is interaction, where you interact with somebody or something in a way that they respond to that interaction. It makes you feel, it makes you a character in the story. So in my game, you type letters in different spots on the spreadsheet to interact with things. For example, to lock a door, you type L in the space right below it to lock it. And if you use U instead of L, check this. It unlocks the door. Any software you use to create a spreadsheet will have a variety of functions you can use to organize the numbers or any values that you're working with. A function is a simple program that helps you add, subtract, or organize different values you input into the spreadsheet without you having to do it yourself. But the rating function that is used like probably hundreds of times in this game is the mighty IF statement. If you don't know what the IF statement is in regards to coding, because you actually have a life, let me explain it. An IF statement is a simple function where it looks for an initial condition that you put in and it gives you two outputs based on that condition. Okay, that explanation didn't make any sense at all. Here's an example. If I am invited to a party, then I will go. That's one output. If I am not invited to the party, then I'm going to go anyways and say that I was. Here's another example. If I am kicked out of the party because I wasn't invited, then I will lock everyone inside and burn the house to the ground. If I am not kicked out of the party, regardless, I will still lock everyone inside and burn the house to the ground. Oh, I think I need to see a therapist. So this is how it works in the spreadsheet. If the letter H is typed in this box, then this box will show a picture of a happy face. If the letter S is typed there, it will show a picture of a sad face. And if nothing is in the box, then it will show a nothing face, which is how I really feel most of the time. This simple if statement is the backbone to a lot of functions in the game. It's how you can lock doors, turn on security cameras, inspect rooms and items, etc, etc, etc. Very well, your majesty. Now, if that sounds boring to you, don't worry. It only gets more boring from here. 
In a typical video game, the story takes place over a length of time. In that length of time, you go to different places, encounter different people, and so on and so forth. But a spreadsheet can't load a new level or decide that it's daytime. Because in the story of the game that I created, it takes place over the course of a few days and a few nights. So each day and night has to have different characters, different challenges, and different things that you have to do. So to overcome this problem, I ostensibly created new levels in the game by creating different sheets in the spreadsheet itself. For example, after you complete the first night or the first level in the game, you're given a number code, which you input into the day one sheet so that you can start playing the game. You can't skip to the end of the sheet because to access it, you need a code that can only be given to you by completing the previous day or the previous night. Now that is just skimming the top of the iceberg because I spent a lot of time coding this. And Aiden from Aiden Makes Post spent a lot of time creating the, the characters for it and the art that you see. So if you want to play this game for yourself, which if you don't, why'd you watch this video for the whole freaking time? All you have to do is click the link down in the description, which will take you to a version of the game, but you can't play it from there. What you have to do is once you get to that new page, you have to go to File, click Make a Copy, and then that's your own personal copy that you can play, you can tinker with to see how it works, and so on and so forth. And for those of you who want to play the game and might get stuck in some portions, in a few days I'm going to be releasing a full walkthrough of the game, how to play it, and other more in-depth analyses on how I made it that I couldn't really fit into this video. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you guys have ideas for other videos I should make, things I can do, games I should play, or if you beat the game that I made, post a comment down in the description. I may not reply to every comment, uh, not that there's like a lot of them, but I read every single comment and I do want to interact with you guys. So, slap it up down there. Um...